Hey everyone, it's me, Mr. Gaming Guitarist. I am currently recording this video while I am live streaming because I just an idea just popped up in my head, but I wanted to give you guys a real look into how if you want to see how different like because there's some people that might think might not think that I'm I've made all this growth and stuff, but if you really want to see where my head was at uh, in 2020, I wrote down my thoughts. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right. So I wrote down my thoughts on April 23rd, 2020. I'm going to read this out loud to you guys. Because uh, Arceon mentioned journaling, and this was, I guess, I don't do it regularly, but I really need, want, should, at least once a week. Anyway, so this is my thoughts from April 23rd, 2020. This was like one month after the pandemic began, and like, I was already a depressed person back then, but you know, anyway, I'm going to start reading it now. <clears throat> I feel trapped. I can't leave my home other than to get groceries or fast food. If I could right now, I would pack a bag of clothes and just start. You know what? Let me just pre-read this just in case there's some wild shit in here. Hang on. <clears throat> All right, here we go. All right, okay. I'm, I, I feel okay with reading this out loud. Here we go. Thoughts from April 23rd, 2020. <clears throat> I feel trapped. I can't leave my home other than to get groceries or fast food. If I could right now, I would pack a bag of clothes and just start driving to any major city to start over again. I feel so sick to my stomach that I can't escape my current situation. I just want to leave so badly. I want to go to LA or New York or hell, even Austin, just so I can get away from this bullshit of a life I have. But I can't because the whole country is under lockdown because of this. Okay, I'm because of this effing V word. And by V word, that's spelled V I R U S. I don't want to say that word out loud because I have a feeling YouTube algorithm is going to start messing with everything. <clears throat> Continuing on. It almost feels like God or whatever you believe in is punishing me. I just have to sit here and keep laying down on my bed, continuing to watch movies and pretend that I'm okay when... Um, what? And pretend that I'm okay... God, my grammar was bad on here. Sorry. And pretend that I'm okay, even though I am nowhere close to being okay. My, uh, I'm not, I can't say this word on YouTube, or else I'll be demonetized, so I'll say, my self-deletion thoughts keep coming back. But then again, I have no reason to self-delete myself. There's too many movies, too many games that haven't come out yet that I want to experience. I know that makes me sound so damn shallow saying that movies and video games I haven't seen or played is the only thing keeping me alive, but that's the truth. I know that this isn't me. I'm not the one writing all this. It's that damn depression. The worst Thing. Uh, I don't want to say that out loud. Okay. I don't... And All right. The next sentence says, I don't know how to slay this dragon. I need help, and I'm sorry for being a pain in the ass, writing yet in... Why the hell did I say I'm sorry to myself? 
whatever. And I'm sorry for being a pain in the ass writing yet another another depressing post, but this is me. This is what's taken over me. I thought I could get rid of it by myself, but I can't. Okay, so that was me on April 23rd, 2020. Now, I know I'm in a much better place, because when I look at that, I can't even relate to that at all anymore. And that's just a great reminder that no matter how bad things might feel for you, listen, if you're at rock bottom, the only place you can go is up. And I feel like I am living proof of that. Because if you saw those older videos, you know, the one with 700,000 views, because I don't want to say the damn title out loud because eh, it's it, because I want to get I want to move on from that. I mean, I feel like I've moved on from it, but sometimes, you know, people just want to mash on their keyboards. Did you get a girlfriend yet? 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 It's like though it almost feels like the, the those people remind me of, I don't know, the early 2000s people that would grab those, what, uh, Us Weekly or In Touch, those weekly, I don't even know if those magazines even exist anymore, but sometimes it's like you have to realize when I made that video, that was the old me. What you're looking at now is Jaren 2.0 beginning his formation? It sounds weird saying referring to myself in the third person. I'm not going to do that again. But um, anyways, all of that stuff, like you can see my progress. Like all the videos I made from like 2023. If you don't believe me. If you somehow are just now watching this video after watching my viral video, um, <clears throat> the one with 700,000 views, I, I'm so glad that I discovered that journal entry because it reminds me, holy crap, look at the progress I've made and I can continue to make even more progress from here. So if anyone out there is also struggling with depression, I've got some recommendations for you. All right, my I've already mentioned this in the live stream, but you know, I'm also recording this, so I'm going to be uploading this as a separate video. I recommend the to watch these people, okay? Dr. K from the channel Healthy Gamer GG, Aaron Doty, uh, that's D O U G. I'll put the links in the description. Aaron Doty Joe Dispenza, I mean, any of the podcasts or interviews that he did were are fantastic. Uh, Bruce Lipton, which was really the first guy I saw because it almost felt like whatever kind of spiritual awakening I went through learning about meditation and your energy, your the different frequencies, because it feels like that entire time I was in such a low frequency and now I can finally feel myself when I'm me like I'm me right now I'm myself when I'm feeling good like kind of like how I am right now I can tell it's like there's an energy it's a re energy is a real physical thing and that's when I started learning about manifesting anyways so those channels the other channels I recommend Elmer O. Locker Jr. that guy is incredible um and I also recommend uh yeah I said Bruce Lipton and Clark Kegley Clark Kegley uh, also talks about all this stuff, but I can really relate to Clark because he ended up, uh, he's a guy that always wanted to tour with a band. And then he finally ended up uh, thinking, oh, okay, maybe it's not going to happen. But then he did a drum cover uh, for an Andrew W.K. song. And then Andrew W.K.'s management saw it, emailed him, said, we need a drummer. Can you get fly over to L.A. and play be our drummer for some shows? And he got to do it. And he got to play drums with Andrew W.K. And so 
I really like watching him a lot because I can relate, you know, he's a drummer, I'm a guitar player and also a bass player now and also wanting to be a singer and my voice sucks, but you know, that's another thing to improve on. But anyways, all of that. Yes, 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 yes. Star Traveler. Yes. Those all those people I mentioned, Aaron, Joe, uh, Dr. K, Bruce, Clark, they all explain me better than I could explain myself. So I'm telling you guys this watching those guys work for me. Maybe those guys can work for you, too. I'm not going to I can't promise anything, but. That was my process to go from being depressed to where I am right now. And I highly recommend those people try it out, see if it works. And if it doesn't, that means keep finding other methods. Because let me tell you, once you start to believe in, the be in a better path, that's when it will happen. It all starts with your mindset. It starts with your thoughts. It all starts from the inside. You can't look for sources on the outside to improve how you feel, to feel better. It all starts from within, and you have to start there. And once you learn to get to that place, realizing everything starts from within, then you, you'll... Okay, I tried to say something at the end, but then I completely ruined it. <laughs> ah. You know what that just reminded me of? That kind of reminded me of Larry David when he was hosting SNL, when all he had to do was introduce Ariana Grande and he couldn't even do it, when he would just say, ladies and gentlemen, Ariana, and he couldn't just say the last name. And then, Anyway. Not that I'm trying to compare myself to Larry David. Curb Your Enthusiasm is amazing. Seinfeld is amazing. If you never watch those two shows, you owe it to yourself. Anyway, my name's Jaron, also known as Mr. Gaming Guitarist. And that's everything I have to say, because it feels like if I keep going on, I'm just going to start rambling, and I'll start making less sense as it continues on. But anyways, thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Bye.